Cyclist Jai Hindley has won stage five of the Tour de France and taken the overall lead wearing the yellow jersey. He won the Giro last year, so he is capable of winning a big tour. Can he do it this time? Joining me live is former Australian cyclist John Trevorrow, who's in France following the tour. Johnny, great to have you on the line, mate. Uh, look, a big win. He got in the breakaway. The other GC contenders, as we call them, the yellow jersey contenders, weren't in that breakaway, but it was still a pretty powerful ride. Oh, good day, Tommy. Yes, a very powerful ride. Yeah, it was strange they let him get so like three minutes up the road because it's not like he's just a, a, a so-so. He, as you say, won the Giro d'Italia last year and was a, probably the main favourite for the third spot on the podium. Everyone's been talking before this tour started that it was uh, out of the big two, Vinegar uh, and and um, Bogaccia. But... Uh, uh, he showed just like he's now right in the mix, but it, it was so impressive. Yeah, it was. So as I mentioned, he, he's won the Giro. Um, the time trial might theoretically be his hardest part, but it's more uphill this year. He's a really good climber, so that might suit him. Is this the big break that might set him up for the race, or is this the time when his rivals take him really seriously and he won't be able to sort of pinch this sort of time uh, for the rest of the tour? Yeah, look, it's, uh, no one can really work out what was going on yesterday. It was a very, very strange day. But you're right. Uh, look, everyone knew he was going to be in, uh, in in the running. So you don't win Grand Tours unless you're capable of going for a full three weeks. So everyone knew he could do it. He's so cool, calm and collected. Also, the time trial is only, only 22 kilometres this year. That's the shortest amount of time trialling in, in a Tour de France in recent history. Mm. And he has improved in that. Uh, one as well. So, look, I think he's a genuine uh, threat. The, the fact that Pogaccia actually showed some weakness yesterday um, means that this is not just a two-horse bike race anymore. It's definitely uh, um, a three-horse <laughs> bike race right now. When you say you're surprised what happens, just explaining to people that don't uh, follow the cycling as closely as you, you have teams and if someone gets a break, you know, up the road and they're a few minutes ahead, if that team's worried about any of the cyclists in that break, they chase them down. And it was how long they let him go that led people to think, were they not taking him seriously before yesterday? Yeah, they should have been. <laughs> uh, there was also uh, Ciccone, Giolo uh, Ciccone, the uh, Italian rider the Little Trek. He was in that break as well. It was a very strong break. And I think there was just... Truly, I think there were some games being played between jump, the teams of Jumbo Visma uh, and, and uh, UAE. I, I think they were trying to bluff each other out. They just let it go too far. Um, today, though, is it, it, a monster day. We've got uh, the Dritte Tourmalay. So it goes from Tarb to, uh, to up a uh, mountain finish on the Couture Kambaski. Your father will shoot me for saying that. Um, <laughs> But it is, uh, uh, yeah, a, a big day. It's only 144k, but um, with mm. four climbs and, and three big climbs towards yeah. the end, it's going to be on again. And um, the way that Henley's riding, uh, I think we'll be talking about as a, him uh, as a real um, okay. overall threat.